monsoon has dumped a hefty amount of rain across southern Nevada these past few weeks. But the big question on everyone's mind is, will this help the mega drought we have been under for the last few decades? And the answer is slightly, but not a lot. Meteorologist Bree Guy explains. I'm here at the Pittman Wash where a viewer sent in video of water rushing down the wash. For July, Las Vegas is already above average in total precipitation. In a drought, this sounds great, but it's not quite so simple when talking about replenishing our diminishing water supply. One after another, storms dropped flood causing water across the desert southwest. Just in this past month, Las Vegas got 0.68 inches of rainfall compared to the normal of 0.38 inches. Many want to know where all this stormwater goes. The answer is what's not absorbed by the soil or lost on roadways is flowing through the valley's washes into the Las Vegas wash that eventually makes its way to Lake Mead. While we hope monsoon moisture is making a dent in our long drought, it really does not. Although the Bureau of Reclamation says some of the stormwater did make it into Lake Mead. We, we were looking at what we were projecting earlier in the month compared to where we ended and we're just about a 0.2 feet higher than two and a half inches, give or take, uh, compared to where we thought we were going to be. Still, the water basin is only 27% full. A recent study done by the Geophysical Research Letters Journal shows that while monsoon contributes about one-fifth of water to the Colorado River, most of the river's water comes from mountain snowpack. We need some snow and we need some, some summer precip, and those two things together can really help help put a dent in the, the drought. However, monsoon cannot on its own fully replenish water missing from snowpack. So the big picture for our water supply is still low. The Southern Nevada Water Authority says one of the biggest conservation measures you can do at home is to turn off your irrigation systems during storms. Brie Guy reporting.